Right, and we got a, another circular motion question. This one, probably a little more complicated. One of the questions that we've been doing, grade 12 class. Uh, car safely negotiating an unbanked circular turn speed of 21 meters per second. Maximum static frictional force acts on the tires. Suddenly, wet patch reduces maximum static friction force by a factor of three. So remember, that means divided by three. If the car is to continue safely around the curve, what speed must the driver slow to? And we're hopefully going to get an answer out around 12 meters per second. So I'm just going to do this in two different situations. So uh, dry and wet. And we'll look at the relationships between the two cases. So unbanked corner, V is square root of R G mu. Mu, the coefficient of friction between the tires and the pavement. So over here, we have the exact same equation. I'm just going to go VW for wet surface equals R G uh, coefficient W for the, for the wet surface and then square root. So to be consistent, I'll put a D over there for dry. It's the velocity on dry, which is 21, equals RG coefficient of friction on the dry, and square rooted, and same thing on the other side. If you look carefully at the two relationships, um, we're trying to figure out that velocity to safely go around the, the wet pavement there. R and G are the same. So there's a relationship of equality between these two formulas, and two equations. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rearrange each equation for RG and set them equal to each other. And I also have the relationship that the uh, wet coefficient of friction if it's wet is one-third coefficient of friction when it's dry. So I have that mathematical relationship as well. That'll come into play in order to figure this out. Okay. So rearranging for RG, so I square both sides. So VD squared over mu D equals RG. Because okay. it's still the same corner, the radius of the corner didn't change. We didn't change planets, it's still 9.81. Over here, it'd be VW squared over mu W equals RG. So again, I squared both sides of the equation to get rid of the square root. That's where the V squared comes from, divide both sides by the coefficient. Both of these equations equate to the same thing, RG, they equate to each other. So VD squared over mu D equals VW squared over mu W. Almost done. Almost ready to put numbers in. We have to use the relationship between mu D and mu W now. So I'm going to cross multiply and make this and put the velocities together on one side and the coefficient of frictions together on the other side. Here's where we'll do our substitution. So mu w equals mu d over 3. So mu d over 3 equals 3 mu w. That's a little easier to substitute. So down here I now have vd squared over vw equals 3 mu w over mu w. So that's why the question doesn't give you what the coefficient of frictions actually are because they divide out it doesn't really matter. All that's important is the, is the mathematical relationship between them and how uh, how much they're reduced by a factor of three. And we can put our numbers in now. So when it's dry, it's 21 meters per second squared over VW squared has to equal three. So cross multiply, 21 squared is 441. So that's three VW squared. Divide both sides by 3. So this is 147 equals how fast you can go when it's wet. Squared. Square root both sides. And we get 12.1. Or 12. Rounding off to two digits for how fast you can go when it's wet without losing control or relying on friction.